Oh no, this is horrible. It's a little dead baby, that's terrible. Mama is not happy. Whoa, it's okay, Mom. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Don't you worry, we'll be back over at the Reptarium doing a zoo build here in just a few minutes, but I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible, and I want to start out with something pretty awesome. I noticed that this girl had a bunch of babies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There's good and there's bad. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat, I see that there's some infertile ova. These are just basically unfertilized live babies. Instead of slug eggs, they have infertile ova. But look at this. Oh no, this is horrible. This is a little dead baby. That's terrible. Oh gosh. What's going on here? Oh, it looks like that's at least some live ones. That's good. More infertile eggs. This is kind of one of those mixed litters. Some are really good and some aren't. Wait a second, wait a second. What's this? What's this? Oh, come on, girl. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right, sweetie. What is this right here? Oh my gosh, look at that. That is crazy. Yo, remember how we pulled that mummified baby from that snake long ago? This looks like an infertile kind of partially formed baby that looks like it's probably from last year. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and check and see how many live babies there are in here. Mama is not happy. Whoa, it's okay, mom. It's all right. Come on, you're all right. Let's go, come on. All right, I'm gonna put you over here, mama, and I'm gonna see what I can do. Whoa, come on. Oh my gosh, she is something else. She is fired up right now. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little poor baby that looks fully formed but just didn't make it. That is such a bummer when they look perfect and don't make it. Let's see how many good babies are in here. Look at this too, and these are Hatleucistics rainbows. So again, they're really beautiful. Come on, mama, don't run away. Oh, and look at, that's a feisty little monkey right there too. So look at how gorgeous these things are. Holy moly, there's two babies. Another infertile ova. Let's see here. Oh, look at this one. This one's still in the egg sack right here. Oh my gosh, that's a fresh baby right there. That's three babies. Oh no, 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 no. This is terrible. Look at, oh gosh, that's horrible. Two more perfectly formed babies. And I tell you what, guys, this is a perfect example. This is what breeding snakes is all about. Reptiles and really live animals as a whole. Sometimes there's disappointments like this. Oh my God, I'm so bummed out. But there's still some good babies. I just gotta take the positive and realize that sometimes this happens. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this is a fourth little baby. And again, look at how pretty, ow, get in there. There's four little babies. Okay, this looks like a fifth little baby still in its yolk sack right there. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Six, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, this is another one that's in its yolk sack. That's seven babies. Oh, I can see some stuff moving around. Eight babies right here. Oh, look at these feisty monkeys. Let's see here. Oh, here we go, nine babies. Okay, this isn't too terribly bad. Another infertile over here. Any other babies? Oh, there's another one. 10 babies, oh my gosh, you guys are feisty. Do we have any other ones or are we done? 10 babies. Okay, so it looks like that's it. 10 little feisty little monkeys right there. And then unfortunately there were a few stillborns and some infertile ova. So she had 17 or 18 total, but unfortunately only 10 of them are good. But hey, 10 is still amazing. Look at these beautiful little babies right here. Oh my God. And again, those are het leucistic rainbows. What an awesome way to start the day. I am so excited now to get over to the Reptarium and start building stuff out. It has been exhausting, but so incredible. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if you're excited about it, because I know I sure am. All right. We are heading into the Reptarium. And again, we're gonna probably focus on Stuart in the Gator Tank today. And to be honest with you, we've been working the last few hours on kind of getting the framing done with the Gator Tank. I haven't really filmed it because it was a little bit boring, but you guys can see that Stuart is starting to put the actual rock into the Gator Tank now. So we'll see how this is gonna transform. I'm really excited about this particular feature because these are gonna be baby alligators. We're always gonna have baby alligators because as soon as they get bigger, we're gonna actually exchange them for babies again. That way everyone always can see them. Here's the beginning. Doesn't look like much now. I did all this framing all the way around. And now uh, Stuart has to somehow figure out how to make this look pretty. My carpentry work is not that great.
And that's what's so amazing working with this polyurea stone is because you can bend it, you can mold it, uh, and this is going to be literally the entire thing, you know. So again, there's going to be a big water feature here, but also the gators are going to be able to get on this side or on this side, basically to a basking area, and it's going to be really cool. And then there's sliding glasses right here so we can actually feed the gators, kind of give demonstration. Even if people are here, maybe we might have like long tongues and people could actually feed the little baby gators here too. So that's why I'm so excited about this particular feature. Starting to get the feel for what the actual shape of the gator tank is. Again, like I had mentioned, this is in the viewing area here, but you'll be able to see back there, back over here. Uh, I think you, by now you guys are starting to get what we're trying to do. Lori, what do you got going on here? Are you fixing up the front? Yep, just uh, filling all the seams, making it look seamless and perfect. First put the caulk, and then you've got some powdered pigment, and then you just tap that on there, kind of matching whatever color it is, and then add some other accents, and it just runs right in. That's crazy. I mean, the seam, the seam just literally magically goes away. That's pretty cool. Lori has a lot to do with this because she's got all the screws, all the seams, and that's just for the front. Then there's all the inside, but actually we had a lot of help. We did hit a lot of the seams and stuff like that. Still a lot more to do, but uh, it's pretty magical, really. I mean, I love this entrance. You guys know that one of the only things that's keeping me sane with all of this physical work, just building stuff out, is cool reptile stuff. And Jessica, what do we have? Got another little baby gargoyle that oh, just hatched today. Oh my today. gosh, it just hatched another lined one, huh? Yeah. This one's a little bit weird though, right? Yeah, it's got kind of like uh, its mother's coloring. It looks like okay. maybe like the bacon, so it's got two colored stripes. So should this one be hatching anytime? Yeah, it should probably be out by tomorrow, I would oh say. Gosh. Well, that's cool. Like I said, had to continue to take a break and just kind of check in over here with the animals, make myself just kind of feel good. It is so much fun with what we're doing, but also so mentally and physically demanding, it's ridiculous. So more or less, this is how the alligator tank ended up pretty cool. We're gonna again have a basking spot back here, a basking spot over here. Obviously, it's gonna be lit up more. Water is gonna be about this high so you can kind of see the animals. Again, they can crawl up on this log, get over here, crawl over on this log and get over here. We end up having to kind of cut it short when it comes to the surround, so I'm going to be working on that tomorrow. The truth is, Stuart has to get to the airport. He's got to get back home. It's kind of a bummer that we're losing Stuart, but he taught us a lot, and we're going to be okay. But regardless, uh, I guess we're taking Stuart to the airport. Tell me, Stuart, that was a crazy four days. <laughs> that was, that was. We got a lot accomplished. Uh, I have to take Stuart to the airport. He's going to be sadly missed, but uh, we are definitely going to see him pretty soon at the Universal Rocks Academy. Yep. We'll talk more about that if you guys are interested at in doing crazy stuff like this or waterfalls or whatever it is definitely hit me up we're gonna be doing that in November it's gonna be absolutely incredible as for now taken Stuart thank Thanks. you so much Thanks, man. buddy yep. yeah it's awesome so please excuse how hit I look right now but I have been working hard all day doing rock faces that's why I'm dirty and sweaty and messy but I'm not gonna lie it's so worth it I really am so excited about this reptarium and I just want to show you around I know Brian showed you some stuff it is just so amazing it blows my mind how cool this stuff is turning out like right here our tortoise pen area I can't wait to get all the tortoises in here. Everything obviously isn't finished yet, but it's getting really close. Sure, Brian showed you Bowser's Pond, and that is just uh, something to be reckoned with for sure. Stuart showed me the uh, fountain flowing today. That was crazy. We start to get the lights up in some of these cages like this is Lucy's big cage it's so cool because every single thing that gets done is just one step closer to it being open I'm not gonna lie I was excited and I had an idea of what this was gonna be but this is blowing away anything that uh, that I was expecting as far as you know the detail and stuff like the trees and the, the rocks honestly like he told me and he showed me pictures of these cages but I can't believe how big these cages are and how much room these animals are gonna have it really makes me happy it makes me excited and uh, you know it's just one more reason to want to come to work do stuff you know because whenever you have a project that you're working on like this uh, it's just super exciting oh man 
I tell you, this, this is really cool. And I know Brian said, oh, I'm gonna be hanging out here all the time. I'm never gonna wanna come home. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, as cool as this is, I think I'm gonna feel the same way. I mean, who wouldn't want to just like hang out and uh, get a pillow and sit under this tree right here and chill out and read a book or something. I might be spending more of my free time here too. I know I probably sound like an idiot, but it really is overwhelming and super excited and um, I really couldn't be happier. We still have a lot of work to do, but holy cow, this place is going to be amazing. All right, guys, just back and uh, the waterfall is on right now, but you can hear the pump in the background. That is not going to be the pump that's actually running. We're just testing it out and running it for a little while, making sure everything works out. And once the filtration system is actually on this tank, obviously it's going to be filled up to like right here and this will be really Really quiet and continue to run but this is the very first time that I've actually been at the Reptarium since we've been kind of getting a little bit of progress here alone there's always been a lot of people here so I finally get a chance to kind of soak things up a little bit kind of absorb what just happened over the last four days it was truly amazing number one think about it this building was empty four days ago literally empty four days ago well it had a TV on it but other than that it was empty and look at where we've come I mean it truly is great breathtaking. And here's another water feature that I think is really cool that we have for one of the cages. I mean, take a look at how insane that cage is. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. And again, these racks here are something that we still have to continue to work on. And what I mean by we is pretty much me and Lori, because again, we pretty much lost everyone as far as our volunteers and everyone as of today. Stuart went back and pretty much everyone is back to work. So there'll be some people that stop in here and there to help, but for the most part, we're kind of on our own. And we still have quite a bit of work. We still have some trim work but you can certainly see how the edging and the blending is starting to take place again I showed you the gator tank before I took Stewart to the airport down here is actually going to be the filtration system and I thought what would be really cool is to actually have that kind of bio balls and everything kind of visible so you can kind of see the working behind the scenes I don't know I'll see how that goes if I don't like it I can always cover it up with a rock wall or something like that probably one of the biggest jobs we have going forward is to figure out all of these center racks and I'm going to do that over the next couple days but again just take a look at these cages as the lighting is on. Now it's really the fun part. We have to start designing, figuring out what water bowls we are, what plants are going to go, what animals are going to go, and the bedding that's going to go in it. I mean, my gosh, it's going to be so exciting. Take a look at some of these habitats. I mean, I tell you what, I am so excited. I couldn't be more excited about this one, too. I mean, of course, this is my big tank right here. Lucy will probably go into, and of course, this is where the waterfall kind of drips into here, goes into here, and then ultimately into that drain. Just a few more things that I have to fix up on that before I can actually start running that waterfall. And of course, this is gonna be the tortoise area over here. We've just got really cool walls, some trees. We'll go ahead and put Timothy Hay down here. And when kids come in, they can actually feed the tortoises and stuff like that. So I don't know, guys. It's pretty awesome to be here by myself. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, it's amazing the progress we made, but listen, we still have a long way to go. That being said, I did want to talk to you about one thing. And that said, I've been saying that the 14th is gonna be the grand opening. Well, I think we're gonna to have to postpone a little bit. Although we got an enormous amount accomplished in four days, the truth is I thought we were gonna be a little bit further ahead because I didn't know how complicated things were. When I talked to Stuart before he came, we both kind of thought like maybe we were gonna get done with all of the middle aisles and everything before he left and we worked our butts off and we just weren't able to quite accomplish that. Just meaning that now that it's gonna be a smaller group of people, BHB, myself, Lori, helping out with this and a handful of volunteers here and there, the truth is it's gonna slow down quite a bit. So I think it's probably gonna take me two or three weeks. I promise after the next day or so, I'm gonna kind of decompress, figure this thing out, reset, and then I will tell you what day we're actually gonna open the Reptarium. But for now, I don't think it's gonna be the 14th. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This was an unbelievable thing. I mean, I've done a lot of things in my life, but this was probably the biggest, most monumental thing that I've ever really taken on in a short period of time. From building the cages to getting them up here to installing them and trying to build this place out. Trust me, it is hard work. Hard, hard, hard work. Harder than I ever really anticipated. But that being said, if you want to achieve your goals and go after things, you've got to be willing to sacrifice and you've got to be willing to work as hard as you possibly can. So it's all going to be 
worth it. And I have no doubt that at the end of the day, I'm gonna sit in here and just be in amazement. Here I am the first time in the Reptarium, even though it's still kind of a disaster, and I don't even wanna leave. I've been up since 4 a.m., and it's now like 11 o'clock at night, and I just wanna stay here because it's amazing, and there's no animals in here yet. There's no glass in most of the cages. There's a disaster. It's just amazing. I already love this place, and I cannot wait to share the rest of this journey with you and eventually finish it and eventually have you come visit me. With that said, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an amazing day. Truly, you guys are the reason this happened. Without you guys, honestly, I couldn't achieve this. I cannot thank you enough for it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here and I get a little bit of sleep. Smash that like button, turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Please comment down below. Let me know how you've enjoyed this journey and let me know if you guys are gonna start getting sick of me rattling on about the Reptarium because because I'll change it up if that is the case. Make sure that you're kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.